G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now I'm going to play again with some crystal growing today. I have done this gorgeous geode cave with alum crystals. I'll link this video up at the end of the current video for you if you want to see that one. That one was with alum and I did this little guy here with ADP. Um, you can just search back on my video not too long and uh, you can see how I grew that one so a little bit different those two um, let me just put these aside somewhere safe so today 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 borax now you can I think everyone can get borax pretty easily I just went down to Bunnings my local hardware store and uh, picked up some Bunnings uh, picked up some Bunnings picked up some borax this is a kilo I think it was about seven or eight dollars so not too expensive um, I did sieve it I just popped it in there it was it, it had a few big like big hard chunks in it and you know I couldn't some of them just wouldn't like break up and, and I thought oh, I'll just sieve it first so anyway popped it through the sieve and uh, I've got some in here so I want to cut this gorgeous flower. Now this is a fabric flower and I want to see if I can get just a light sort of sprinkling of um, crystals on it. You know, it's very it's very soft, it's very lightweight. So the big crystals that um, I grew on the other rows, the plastic rows the other week, um, I don't want big heavy crystals like that. I just want tiny little sort of delicate kind of druzy crystals so I'm going to try that and I'm, I'm not going to paint the wood glue on I'm going to see if I can get this glue in a can quick grip glue Sally's look I have no idea if it's going to work but um, I'm going to try it I've got my <laughs> I keep some of my pizza boxes and I use them for spraying I take it outside and I spray you know if you need to do like a clear gloss varnish or something like that but I'm going to try and just spray this with the glue and then real quick dunk it in there. Okay, to get my, my basically my seed crystals onto this and then I can, I can grow it. All right, so let's, let's do this. I've got my box, I've got a piddle pad here. I'm trying not to do any like, over spray, but we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't want to get over spray. I'll aim that way. Ah, okay, well, that seemed like a lot. <laughs> All right, let's move that out of the way now. And before the glue dries, let's dunk it. I'm going to use the rest of this borax in my solution. Just sort of sprinkle some in here in case I didn't get it. Like, either, like I didn't get glue on the whole thing, you know. It's pretty, pretty sort of sparse, I think, with the glue. All right, so that's it there. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, look at that. I think that'll work nicely. Hopefully, it's got very, very fine little bits of borax on these. So. Um, I'll put that, we'll put that, we'll just put that there for a minute. Ooh. Put that there for a minute. Now I'm going to go and uh, mix up, well I'm not going to go and mix up, I'm going to go and boil my kettle and I figured out that this, this big jug here, it's a litre, it's going to hold my flour without it touching the sides. I had a bit of trouble trying to figure out what I could use and it needs to be quite wide because the flower is quite wide so I'm going to need to suspend that in there. So I'm going to go and boil my kettle. Righto, kettle's just boiled and I'm going to put in 800 mils up to here. Nice and steamy. <laughs> and I just have to get down next to it and have a look oh nope you can't tell can you unless you're looking side on to see where your your little line is oh, still under the line okay a little bit more I think that will 
do. Oh gosh. All right. So that is that. Now, um, let me just move this pedal pad out of the way. It's done its job. Put it somewhere safe. It can be my glue pedal pad. All right, so now I need to weigh my borax. I'm going to do the same as I did with the alum crystals, where I did 200 millilitres of water to 90 grams. There's a hair in there. <laughs> There's hairs everywhere. Okay, so uh, 200 grams to 90 400 grams to 180, 800 grams to 360, so I need 360 grams of borax. Now I'm going to use this that's been dissolved, I've uh, been um, sieved because it just makes it a bit easier than, you know, <laughs> trying to stir in lumpy bits. I have I got 360 grams? I should have. Just do it slowly. Hopefully my scale won't turn off because then I'll be in a world of hurt. As long as you keep sort of tapping it to wake the scale up, it should be okay. What are we up to now? 130. Gosh, I'm going to need a lot more than that. Might not have enough here. Just trying to dissolve it as I go. I may need to take this jug and put it in the microwave and reheat it because every time I put a you know a cold scoop, a cold scoop in, it's making my water cold. I'm gonna have to go and sieve some more. I'm up to 217. So I've just washed my sieve. So it's not going to sieve because it's wet. I'm just going to have to pour in from here. All right. And hopefully it'll be all right. So uh, 360 I need. I basically just sieved it, you know, so I could dunk my flour in. I guess you don't have to. But, um, yeah, I wanted to put the flour in with no lumps. So that I'll get a nice even covering. We're up to now 300. Gosh, it takes a lot. 300. All right. Just as well, it's cheap as chips, hey. <laughs> the other one, the alum powder and the ADP, they're they're much more expensive. Well, they are in Australia anyway to buy them on eBay. Alright, 325, 340. This is, um, as far as I know, it's like a dish, uh, washing detergent and um, sanitizer, multi-purpose, removes stains, neutralizes odour. Okay, so there we go, 361 we're at, and <laughs> I've used almost the whole thing. All right, no I haven't. Um, I have played with borax before. Um, I haven't done a video on it, but I had played with it before, so that's why I haven't got a full jar there. Okay, so now I just have to stir, 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 and you know, I can put my finger in that, it's not that hot anymore. So I am going to have to, see all the borax in the bottom? I am going to pop this in my microwave and bring the water back up to hot. Not quite boiling, but in the microwave. I'll put it in for a minute in the microwave and uh, see if I can get all that to dissolve and then I'll be right back. Right, so I gave it two minutes in the microwave. I've it had some little uh, crusty bits stuck to the bottom and I had to <laughs> try and scrape them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sieve it into here and then pour it back in. Now as, I'm trying not to make too much of a mess, 
as the um, water cools, look at that, see that's all undissolved. As the water cools, uh, we will start getting more crystals. Now I've made a bit of a mess. Um, I knew I wasn't going to tip that in without making a mess. Hey, So what I'm going to do with this, don't throw that out. Just pop it back into your borax container. And uh, it will dry out. And you can use it again. So, yeah, don't, um, don't waste it. So you can just pop it back in there um, or you could wait until it sort of goes into a, a powder and then pour it back in but just do that and uh, I'm going to rinse this out and we're going to pour that back into there so my jug is rinsed got all those loose sort of borax particles out of there and I'm just going to pour this back in now, as this mixture starts to cool, it's going to want to make more crystals. But at least we haven't got too many in there. So, now I need to wait. Um, like I said, it's going to start wanting to make crystals. And I didn't want all the little crystals or powder um, on the bottom to start attracting the crystals that are going to form on my flower because as the water cools, the um, salt crystals want to come out and I don't want them sitting on the bottom being attracted by any of those. But I can't put it in now because all these tiny little bit of powder that I've put on there, if I put them into hot water, they're just going to dissolve. So we are just going to have to wait until this cools down um, to room temperature should be fine. Um, and then we can pop that in. And in the meantime, I'm going to have to find something that I can suspend it. I'm thinking maybe a piece of polystyrene. I can just poke it through and then sort of tie it off. So I'm going to look for that. Might take about 20 minutes, I guess. Um, and then I'll come back to you. Shoe fly. Now, it, it's only been about 10 minutes or so. But I can see little crystals starting to form on the top. And it looks as if there's some crystals down the bottom. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Look, I found a bit of polystyrene that's gonna sit just there. Look at that. So let's poke that through. Hopefully it's in the middle, like that. Look at me go, you guys. Look at me go. Like who knew? I could figure this out. All right. I'm just gonna bend that so that the flower is kind of sitting as straight as possible because it's kind of lopsided. Um, so it looks like that now and let's see pop that in oh gosh sorry if you can't see anyway I'll, I'll bring you down in a minute I'll bring you down it's gonna I don't mind if there was a pick poking through so I'm gonna bring that down oh it wants to float <laughs> didn't think about that did I Woo! wants to float okay so it's sitting I'll bring it up a little bit more okay I'm gonna I'm gonna just put a weight on that because it wants to um, it wants to float what can I put on you can someone just hold that and uh, hold that for me I need to go over there and get something um, 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 what can I get I see a bottle of resin Actually, what about a... That'll do. Some gloves. That'll do. All right, let me just bring you down so you can see what I've done because it's a bit difficult when you're up there, isn't it? All right, so... There's my flower. I think I need to move it over a little bit. It can't... It seems to be touching there it's a pretty big flower <laughs> anyway I think it'll be all right I think it'll be all right I'm, I might try to just lift it a little bit more how good's that hey I can lift this or push it down depending on where I want it so I think that's I think that's pretty good I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it Aren't you impressed? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Who knew? 
I was struggling with bits of um, string and tape and everything last time I did it. Polystyrene, you guys, polystyrene. All right, so that is just going to sit there now, um, undisturbed. It's better if you can turn your air conditioner off, let it cool slowly. Uh, you'll get better, better, stronger crystals if you can cool it slowly. So, um, yeah, I will come back to you. <gasps> what is it now? 1 p.m. I'm going to have to leave it till tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll come and see what it's doing in the morning, okay? Yay, all right. See you then. Wish me luck. Righto. It is 8 p.m. And can't see a lot in there. But the sides are covered in crystals. So I guess that's a good sign if there's crystals on the side. One would think there'd be crystals on the flower as well. I was planning on leaving it overnight. But I think if it's got that much crystallization happening already, if I leave it overnight, I'll probably just have like one big blob of crystals on the other side, maybe. Or maybe there's no crystals on the flower and it's all on the sides of the jug. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. It's just that I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave it um, overnight. And then it's just like you can't see any definition of the petals anymore. You know what I mean? Let me just get my little stand so I can have a look to see what you are seeing. There we go. Stand on my box. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's weight that down. I'm really happy with my polystyrene. I think that's worked really nicely. Okay. Oh gosh, it's heavy. It's it's really heavy, you guys. Let's move this. And I'm going to use this again. Obviously, oh, I'm going to use the same hole, I guess, depending on what I use that for. Oh, look, you guys. <gasps> it's got crystals. Take that off. All these little loose ones. They're just, they're just loose. They must have been floating on top because sometimes the crystals kind of float on top and then they drop down. And that's what kind of makes the crystals on the back here. It is so heavy. It's probably easier if I get a little brush actually. Now you saw me do this with my um, the purple one I did. You know the amethyst cave just just brush off the ones that you don't want just be gentle though you don't want to break off look at this even this has got even that look at that it's got crystals on it this is so exciting now did i say i started this at one o'clock or was it three o'clock was it one o'clock because it's eight o'clock now if it's one o'clock it's only been seven hours <gasps> gosh all right i'm dripping I'm dripping, I'm dripping. Let me just. I know. I, I want to look, but I don't. I'm just going to put that there. Catch some drips. It is so heavy, you guys. There must be crystals attached to the other side. There must be. Let's just get some of that solution off. I've got a wet hand. Oh, gosh. All right. Now, don't throw that away, okay? Because you can use that again. You can reheat that. You can um, get all those crystals off the side and reheat it and cool it down and use it again. So don't waste it. I know it's only cheap, but borax, but don't waste it. Oh gosh, I don't know how to do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do I flip it over? <gasps> oh, look, 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 crystals. Oh my gosh, let's do this. <gasps> oh, no way. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And I know you can colour your borax, but I picked a um, artificial like silk flower or whatever it is that had colours in it, peach and pink, because I wanted clear crystals. If you had a white flower, maybe you could put pink food dye or something, but I, I did clear because the flower had colours in it. Oh, that is that is 
that is just what I wanted, you guys. Just a little sprinkling of crystals all over. Look at the leaf. Look. It's got little crystals on the leaf. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've taken it out now. I've just got back from going out to dinner with a, a friend whose birthday it was. We just went out for a quick little bite to eat. So I thought, oh, just check it. Just check it before I go to bed. So, yeah, if I'd waited overnight, this would have just been like a big mass, big mass of crystal over the top, and you wouldn't have seen any of those petals. Wow, how fast is that? Borax is fast, you guys. My gosh, let's weigh this. Let's see what it weighs. I'm gonna drop it. Let's put it on the scales. Because we put 360 grams of borax in the solution. Let's just get to grams. How am I gonna do this? Very carefully. Very carefully. I like how there's still some space in there, like in here. I haven't, it hasn't closed up all the way. I'm, I'm loving that. Loving it. <gasps> Don't drop off. All right, let's weigh this. The flower itself didn't weigh very much. That was very light. 170. Six ounces, you guys. Six ounces. Wow. And like I said, the flower itself didn't weigh very much at all. Now, what am I going to do with it? What am I going to do with it now? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to wait because it's dark outside. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow um, and I can hopefully get a nice photo for you outside. I'll take it outside and get a photo of it in the sun. It's dripping a little bit still. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm beyond excited. Look at the definition. You can still see the, the layers of the petals. There's little gaps in there, which is... Really nice. I like that. I like seeing that. If I'd left it in any longer, that just would have all just been, like I said, a big clump of, of crystals and you wouldn't have been able to see the individual petals or the spaces between them. So <gasps> I'm a happy girl, happy girl, happy girl. All right. Now, um, where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it is the question. I want to stand it up like this. I've got another little bit of polystyrene. I'm wondering if I can just, I don't need all of this, if I can, ah, I'm dropping bits, okay I need someone to hold it for me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trim it. I don't I don't need all of this. I'm just gonna trim it. Out there. Oh, yep, just shot it across the room. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or whether it's going to still want to topple over. I don't know that I trust it. Might cut a little bit more off and just leave it sitting on the box. Cut a bit more. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I can leave it. I'm happy like that. It can just sit there overnight and dry. And um, I am just going to leave that, I think. It's pretty rock hard down there. Yep, it's pretty stuck on. So I'm just going to leave this. I'll put it away somewhere safe. And then next time I want to do some borax, I'll just put the whole jug in the microwave for a few minutes until it all melts down again and dissolves. All right, I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. See what you think of my little flower. Okay, here we go. Look at that. It's so pretty.
can't believe how fast these crystals grew. People say to me, oh, amazing rose. What did you use for that? Dishwashing detergent. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Things you can make with dishwashing detergent. Love it. Okay, like I said, I will take a photo. Hopefully I can take a photo outside tomorrow, take it for a little walk in the garden. And, um, yep, see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll shine in the sunlight. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, I'll, yeah, I'll put up a little video for you for tomorrow. All right. Let me know what else you want to see me covering crystals. I've got something else coming up real soon with the borax. Actually, yep, I'll keep that borax solution for it. So, yep. Okay, this is so exciting. I'm so happy it worked. See you all for the next video. Bye for now.